Right, good morning for the second day of Copenhagen. Um, Jim is having a shower, me, she's doing her makeup over my shoulder. And yeah, so we got here quite late yesterday. So it wasn't as busy, obviously, as it was going to be today. Uh, we've circled loads of things on the map. So we're just going to go down and get some breakfast. It's currently 8.46 local time, so it's quarter to eight back home. And, uh, and yes, we're going to get some breakfast and then hopefully just have a walk and see what attractions we can tick off our list. Very cold today, but our first trip is. You can see that sign. Visit Carl's. Holding hands for solidarity. It's freezing. It's minus four here. Well, it's not minus four, is it? What is it meant to be? Like four degrees. It's four degrees, but the app says. But yeah, this, this is where Carlsberg originates from. Isn't that mad? So yeah, we have got really red nose now. But in here, I think so. Carlsberg. Not Carlsberg. So hopefully, yeah, you can see Carlsberg. Look. Carlsberg. Right, let's go inside. Right, okay. Well, quick update. Turns out that Carlsberg is shot on a Monday between October and April, so mm -hmm. we've come all this way. Jim is now on the bridge taking a picture. You can see him in the distance there. So me and Misha are now planning the Hans Christian Christ Anderson house, house yes. which should be quite good. That, that'll be the thing. Um, so yeah, so we're planning that and Carlsberg will be back tomorrow. We will try some beer out here, but at least we know where we're coming now, I suppose. Misha's on our planning. Guys, back. back tomorrow, Jim. I did nearly get hit by a crane. I got shouted at by a guy in Danish. Because we I nearly had that on film. If only that was on film, yeah. But Hans Christian Andersen, that's the next stop, and hopefully that's open. <laughs> So he travelled, these are some of the places he went to, so Germany, Switzerland. It's probably good effects in here though, isn't it? Pictures. So if anyone didn't know, Hans Christian Andersen was the person who wrote all. The Little Mermaid he wrote. At last the day came when she was allowed to rise to the surface. Right, so we're in the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale house. And it's, yeah, if you didn't know, he's probably one of the most famous Denmark citizens to ever live. Um, and he wrote The Little Mermaid, amongst other things. And yeah, so that's Amy's favourite film. Um, I'm sure Misha, and there's plenty of other people that love The Little Mermaid. So yeah, it's interesting to see how it all came about, all his travelling and... Uh, and yeah, these guys are just taking in the Little Mermaid history lesson. The original manuscripts. Let me see. How much writing is on those, though? That cost million. They cost millions to publish in 2002. Right, so we're on our way to the Round Tower and we've just had a look at a couple of shops. Now we're just going to one of the Christmas market areas, all these little fir trees. But yeah, have a look at this, this is really, really cool, look. Look at that. So yeah, the three of us are gonna try, where have they gone? There they are. We're going to do some Christmas market shopping. Got herself some Danish glick. Have a look at it. It's got it's almonds like and raisins in it. Almonds and raisins, and then Jim 
has got himself. What did you get, Jim? A traditional bratwurst. A bratwurst. What did you think? <laughs> yeah. Bob. Jim's decided he's going to buy some of these pop-up cards. Should I demonstrate? Demonstrate, you should. What do you think? Did you get it? So Jim's picked the up helicopter. the train. Is up there. The helicopter. And then you also picked the Ferris wheel. And which one did you get? The helicopter. The helicopter yeah. Also the helicopter. Where are the prezzies? <laughs> right, we're walking up. Come on, Jim, what are you doing? Walking up the round tower. So as you can see, it's just one massive ramp. And we'll get us to the top, hopefully, of. You feel the burn in the back of your legs. Oh, come on. They're not hacking it, come on. Keep going. But, hopefully this will bring us out of the top and then we will get a nice panoramic view. Have we made it? Yes. We made it to the top of the round tower. Yes, we did. We made it, so yeah, it's, um, it's quite amazing really. I'm ashamed about the, the fencing, but it is quite cool if we just have a look. We've already put a clip in, but we'll have a look. Just show you the scale of Copenhagen. How high? Do you want me to guess? I don't know. It's very, very high up, isn't it? So we can see right across Copenhagen. Right, we've left Jim back at the hotel. He's gone back uh, he's after tired. the. He's very tired. He's very ill, to be fair to him. So uh, being out in the cold of Copenhagen is probably not doing the remedy any good. No. But me and Misha have decided that after going to see Hans Christian Andersen's history museum thing this morning, they were going to actually come and see the Little Mermaid statue, yeah. which is one of the most famous things in Copenhagen. Uh, a lot of people have said that I've got to go and see it. Uh, so now, yeah, we've got the train, we've got the metro to Osterport, Osterport. Uh, and we're becoming like natives on the S train now. Yeah. And then I think we're at the traffic lights and left, apparently, the ladies there. So, we're just on the lookout for the Little Mermaid as the light is starting to go now. So, let's see if we find it. We've we found the little, yeah, we found the Little Mermaid now. So, let's have a look, see if we can. Misha, we finally made the walk. You ready? Oh. There you go. Right, we've met her back with Jim, the little mermaid. I'm, I'm frustrating now on low battery, but we're in Tivoli. Look at this place. This is ri this is like Christmas on speed. There we are, the polar polar bears. So. I'm gonna try and get as much as I can before my battery goes to pop. But, yeah, let's have an explore of the theme park, but hopefully my battery doesn't die too much. Look. Battery's gonna die. Sandwiches, barbecue pulled pork, quite nice. Um, you know what? I think I'm really in Tivoli. You've seen loads of shots of Tivoli. I was thinking my back, clicking my back, but <laughs> I don't know, just my back was clicked. But this is where we're going to end the video. So, as always, if you like the second day of Copenhagen, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. And as always, we will catch you later. Later, please.